Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to quickly import and export ACF group fields in WordPress. This can be really useful if you need to move data between different inst installations or use it elsewhere. ACF group fields are a great way to manage data on your WordPress site. Now let me show you the group fields I have created with ACF. This is the group field I have created. And these are the subfields I have created inside group field. Let's check the CSV file I have prepared to import. This is my CSV file and it has many field headers and values. Start with post title field. Provide your post title here. In the post content, provide a post content to include in the body section. In the post except field, add short description of the post. Mention post date in post date field. Provide post slug, slug name in the post name. Mention the author name in the post author field. Specify the post status value either as published or draft in the post status. Mention the featured image URL here. This can be your WordPress media URL or any external URL. Next, enter the post format value in post format field. Mention the post category and tag values. Next, I have mentioned all the subfields created for group fields. Let's see them one by one. In the text field, mention any single line of text. In the text area field, provide multiple lines of text. In the number field, provide any number value. In the range field, specify the range number value. Mention email address in the email field. For the URL field, provide any URL here. Provide the password in the password field. In the specific editor field, add the text values with HTML tags. In the image field, Mention your media image URL. Provide any file URL of your WordPress media in this file field. In the OMBAT field, mention any YouTube video URL. In the gallery field, provide multiple image URLs in comma separator. You can add external URL, images, or media image URLs. In the select field, Mention the value to be select in checkbox field. Provide the value to be checked. Mention multiple values in comma separator. In the radio button field, provide a value to be selected. And also in the group field, provide the value to be selected. In the true or false field, provide the value 1 for true and value 0 for false. 
in the link field provide your back press page or post links in the page link field mention your back press post or page urls In the post object field, provide the page or post names in pipelines. For the relationship field, mention the pages or post titles in comma separator related to this particular post. Mention the taxonomy's name here in tag. Taxonomy field. Provide any date value like this format in the date picker field. In the date time picker field, provide the date and time value. In the color pickup field, mention the color's hexa values. So this is my CSV file. Now let's import the CSV with CSV importer plugin. I am creating a CSV link for my Google Sheet. So this is how you create CSV link. Move to the plugin page in your WordPress dashboard. You can upload your CSV file from different locations. You can browse from your desktop or simply drag and drop your CSV or XML files. You can upload from FTP or SFTP or from external URL. If you want to update already imported records, move to the file manager. Download your file from here. Make changes in the file and re-import them with CSV importer. Now I'm using the external URL option to upload my newly created CSV file. Provide the CSV link. Here choose the post type. Choose new item if you import new records or else choose existing item to update your existing records. Next, start to map all the CSV headers with WordPress headers. can map all the ACF group fields in a separate widget.
Next, make sure to map the terms and taxonomies. Then save the mapping with the name so it can be reused later in future import. You can also edit or delete the mapping later by visiting the manager section inside the plugin and templates. Here you can edit and delete your mapping templates. Next, moving to the next section, media handling. Use the media handling if you want to import any external URLs images in your WordPress. In your WordPress. Finally, click this import button to import instantly the data to WordPress. You can also schedule the import by configuring this schedule this import. Provide your schedule date, time and frequency and other data to schedule the import. Now click on import button. Wait for the import to complete. The import is successfully completed. Let's verify it. You can see all the values are imported successfully.
Next, we can see how to export ACF group fields values from WordPress.